Hello everyone, and welcome back to our video series on precision battery test solutions. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of the role of, and the considerations to be made for, each socket in this battery test design. Next, we'll briefly explore a simulation of the design in Tina TI. This slide steps through the various components of our design, as implemented in Tina TI. The major components are the battery current measurement unit, the battery voltage measurement, the CC control amplifier, the CV control loops, and the driver unit itself. On this slide, we show the results when the previously shown circuit is simulated in Tina TI. V cell is the battery voltage, and I cell is the battery current. As you can see, the system begins to charge in CC mode. Then, when the battery voltage gets to the regulation voltage, the system switches to CV high mode. The output of the CV high control amplifier goes low to turn on the diode and pull down the input of the driver. Because the CC set control signal remains high, the CC control amplifier's output rails in an attempt to force the maximum charge current. However, because of the 20k ohm resistor between the CC control amplifier and the shared node at the input of the driver, the CV high amplifier is able to essentially overpower it. The I cell charge current goes to 0 amps. The system stays in CV high mode until the CC set control signal changes to force a discharge. The CV high amplifier goes inactive as the battery voltage drops away from the regulation voltage, and as is visible on the I cell plot, the battery begins to discharge. When the battery voltage reaches the threshold voltage, the CV low amplifier output goes active, going high to turn on the diode and pull up the driver input. This prevents the battery voltage from dipping below the threshold voltage. Once again, the CC control amplifier attempts to fight it, but is unable to overpower it, and the I cell current goes to zero. The design was tested on the bench using a custom PCB, shown on this slide. While actual LiPo batteries were utilized for initial testing, the results we will be discussing were achieved by using an SMU to emulate the battery. The accuracy values are presented in terms of the full-scale range, or FSR, of the system. Five runs were performed, with each run's data represented by a different color. The first run for each test was used for calibration. As shown, we were able to achieve better than plus or minus 125 ppm precision in constant current mode, with actual results closer to plus or minus 100 ppm. In constant voltage mode, we achieved an envelope of plus or minus 70 ppm, with typical results within plus minus 50 ppm. Note the nonlinearity of the current response that remains after calibration. This emphasizes the importance of choosing a current sense amplifier with good gain linearity for best performance to maximize the effectiveness of your calibration. We also investigated the load regulation of the system, or how the voltage of the battery impacted the current accuracy. We achieved a nonlinear distribution within a plus and minus 150 ppm envelope in charge mode. Despite outliers, we still achieved plus minus 250 ppm precision in discharge mode, with most results within plus or minus 150 ppm. Thank you for your time. We hope this video series was helpful and informative. For more BTS resources, please visit ti.com.